Hey, what's up guys? This is Coach Matt. Today, I'm gonna to take you through some details of the core engaged hip lift. This is one of my favorite movements uh, for teaching people how to get out of extension in their back and really strengthen the lower abs and the core. But when you see the video of it, that's just a quick demo video, you often miss some of the little details in, uh, in there. So I like doing this at a gym where you have like a, an, a rig anchored in the ground that you can hold on to. We're gonna use a door frame here, I think. It's going to work just well enough. Perfect. Okay. So I have this wide door frame. I'm going to grab over my overhead and anchor myself down. My back is flat and my knees start up. I'm going to split my feet a little bit so they can go on either side here. But normally you can go knees together and I want my knees right above my hips. And from here, my goal is to lift the tailbone up and off the ground slightly by curling and engaging those lower abs. Doesn't see me shaking right there. What we end up seeing a lot of people do in this movement to start is they don't actually get the lift from moving their pelvis, they get the lift from driving their knees into their chest. So you can see the knees and the quads end up being the, the worker and you're gonna get higher ab contraction at the top there, but what I want to see people work on, even if you barely get off the ground, is that little curl and lift from the lower body. And then we can progress this after doing that little one inch lift by trying to go up slightly higher. And then when we're up there, inhale, exhale, down. It's really important to be able to train the breath with our core work. So I'm going to go up, Inhale, exhale, down. So what I want you to think about is you can keep that lever short. Uh, if you're having trouble breaking off the ground, it's okay to move just little bits and focus on the contraction of the, the lower abs. And then to progress it, we'll do holds and breathing at the top. Now one more regression. I'm going to show you the difference here. One more way that you can modify this if you're having trouble is actually starting with the knees into the chest. So before we talked about not using the knees into the chest as a way to create momentum to lift up. But if I start knees into the chest, I've shortened how much I have to lift with my core. And now I can do just a little mini lift still up. So I'm still thinking about lifting that tailbone straight up so I get more of the lower ab engagement. And that's a way you can play around with it if you're having trouble. So try those out and see how it goes.